All I do is pop more bottles and give them to you All they ever do is bring more problems to listen to My chains, my ring, gon' blame, they do all the seducing I was kicking shit with your bitch, she did all of the truth All I do is pop more bottles and give them to you All they ever do is bring more problems to listen to My chains, my ring, gon' blame, they do all the seducing I was kicking shit with your bitch, she did all of the truth I can turn the stripper to a deep Chin to the owner, that's Peter Shot might be gone up the needle Rock style gone like the Beatles I took the dive on to the meeting Three cell phones in the creepin' Got a bitch waiting in the lounge I done had a move a few pounds Looking at my chain on drown Andy put the diamonds in his mouth All bad bitch pop out When a nigga still at the house Every day we walk the red carpet Every day one of my hoes falling in love All I do is pop more bottles and give them to you All they ever do is bring more problems to listen to My chains, my ring on blame, they do all the seducing I was kicking shit with your bitch, she did all of the truth All I do is pop more bottles and give them to you All they ever do is bring more problems to listen to My chains, my ring on blame, they do all the seducing I was kicking shit with your bitch, she did all of the truth YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Maddie B TV, and I'm coming back at y'all with another lit vlog. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, what I had going on in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to do something different for the intro to a vlog. Hopefully, y'all fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to keep putting out new shit, new content. You know, trying new things, see what y'all rocking with. As y'all can see by the title today, I'm gonna be going to get me a new tattoo. I'm gonna be finishing my sleeve, I'm get get it on my elbow, or whatever. Right now, I'm just waiting on my goddamn passenger to hurry the hell up. It's 12:04. My appointment was at 12. Well, it's at 12. And they not even ready. Women. But, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do too much talking. Next clip, we're gonna be inside the tattoo shop. Hopefully, getting the tattoo started. Y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this video. You know what I'm saying? And we going crazy for the rest of the year. So, y'all just sit back and enjoy these videos that I'm gonna be dropping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah!
Alright YouTube, as y'all seen, your boy just got a new tat on the elbow. I still got some more shit to add though, just to finish this sleeve. Um, right now, I'm just show y'all like all the tattoos I got. Tell y'all what they mean. So the first tat I got, I gotta get on the bed so y'all can see this motherfucker. Not, not a lot of people know I got this tat. Um, y'all probably cannot see that, but I, this is the first tat I got on my leg. I got a red Chinese dragon. Um. Plan with this is I'm gonna get it down to like my ankle. I'm like gonna add a background, go like on some Japanese Tokyo type theme on my leg type shit, like all right here. Get my whole leg done. This is my left leg. So like to me, I got this tattoo because it like symbolized strength in a sense. And I got it on my left leg because when I was little, I was like two, three years old. I had broke my femur. So I got that to be my first tattoo to really like symbolize, you know, strength or whatever. Second tattoo I got is this right here it's like the stairs to heaven and it got they my homeboy died right here the numbers that's what they symbolize but i got this basically like um for my homeboy that died in middle school and then i got this let me see i got this third it's basically like a tiger or whatever and i got green eyes because that's my favorite color and then i went and got this right here on my arm Basically, it's a clock right here. Got it in Roman numerals. And then this is like half of a face of a line because uh, when I was getting a tattoo, I had thought about putting this clock right here. Um, but this whole clock, um, this tat was for my one of my grandmamas that died. And I'm a Leo, so I got a line and she a Virgo. So basically, the line face is facing this way and then like her Virgo um, zodiac symbol is like facing that way. So this the chin, that's the nose, these like the lips and that's like the eyes is closed. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like facing that way. But I thought about adding this clock right here to like symbolize at the time stopped on this date. Got the date in Roman numerals, but she died on this date. So I thought that was pretty cool to put that there. Like shit, you know what I'm saying? And then that's the fourth tat I got. This is the fifth tat I got on the inside. So I fought with music. You know what I'm saying? It was just perfect for me to get some type of music um, tatted on my body somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I got the play button, the pause button, the stop button, and the rewind button. And I got words, but it really, like, fall together. So it says, play the, uh, play the moments, pause the memories, stop the pain, and rewind the happiness. I don't know if y'all can see that for real, but that's what it says right there. And then I had got this microphone. I got this microphone, like, since I got the music right here, I got this microphone right there, right? And I got it upside down to really, like, blend in with this. You can see it a little bit, how this face right here, chin, the lips, the nose, and the eyes. And it kind of just symbolizes if, like, my grandma is, like, singing into the microphone type shit, if that makes sense. And then I got the words on the front. So, it's like, you look at it as if she, like, singing this or, you know, but that shit just, it all falls in. And then today, as y'all seen, I just got this. Yeah, I know y'all can't see that, but I got the three on my elbow. He wrapped it up. But I'm gonna have to add some shit like right here, just a little bit more, a little bit shit like right there and right here. So I can just go ahead and get done with this arm. But yeah, how I take care of my tattoos. Basically, you just use like non bacteria soap. I forgot to get some, um, but you basically use non-bacterial soap and you use like a type of ointment. Some people use lotion. If you use lotion, you gotta use like lotion that ain't got no scent to it. So non-scented lotion. Me personally, I never use lotion. I use, uh, I even still got it like to this day, but I use Aquaphor. So what I do is I, uh, usually they put saran wrap on it, but he's, this is like a, some type of like tattoo. Bandage and you leave it on for like he said the least three days, the most five days. But then when you take it off, you just treat it as normal and put a lotion on it. But previously, they put saran wrap on my shit, and then about two, three hours, four hours, take it off. And then what I do is when I'm in the shower, because you don't want to wipe it with a rag, like you know what I'm saying? You want to touch it, like when you give yourself a shower, you got a tattoo, you don't want to be in there washing that area with that rag, it's gonna fuck it up. So what I do is I won't hit that spot, like in the shower type shit. I take like the soap and kind of just like 
massage the area, you know what I'm saying? Let it lather up a little bit. I probably like wash it like three, three times at the most, two to three times, just to make sure that the area clean. Then when I get out of the shower, I'll just like, you know, dry off with a towel, wipe yourself down. But when you get to that area, I'll just pat it off. I let it dry a little bit, but not too much because you don't want it to be, me personally, I, I didn't want it to be damp, you know, trial and error, you put it on right after. Especially when it gets to the peeling stages, you'll see like, I don't know, it just went, I really ain't fuck with it. It'll, it. it'll like easily peel and then like you got like, I don't know, like little specks and shit on your arm. I ain't like that shit. It'll be like um intertwined with the with the with the uh the ointment and it, it's just a whole shit show. And then if, if shit do that, I just rewash it and then wait till it dry a little bit. But don't wait too long. Cause like if you got shade and stuff like that, if you wait too long after you wash it and it and you wait too long for it to dry, that shit gonna be itching like a motherfucker, bro. I'm tell you. That's the only bad thing about getting shaded tattoos is they be itching, bro. That's the only part. But if you get like just an outline, it ain't really gonna itch for real. And then it just depends on how big the tattoo is. Of course, if you get a tattoo, it's gonna itch. But at the same time, like how bad the itch gonna be, then you straight. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I got for y'all today. I appreciate whoever tuned into the vlog of me getting a new tattoo. Um, when I go back and finish this sleeve. I'm definitely gonna bring y'all along with me. Make sure y'all just like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Run me up. And then, you know what I'm saying, y'all fuck with the vlogs. And then y'all fuck with my normal content that I usually do. And y'all stay tuned. If y'all got any ideas or anything of what type of videos y'all would like for me to uh, do or anything y'all would like for me to do, just let me know, bro. Hit me up, let me know. Instagram, comments, it don't matter. Just let me know. But appreciate y'all tuning in, you know what I'm saying? Yo! Yeah. Asking, do I got rats? It's plenty on me. In the bull surrounded by bitches, 20 on me. Rocking different type of designer, put Finney on fleet. Aquafina diamonds on my bitch, I put her on scene.